What's up, y'all? It's your boy Danilo back on this track. Let's just hop into this episode three. Whoa! All right, I'm gonna tell y'all about a little story about when I got my first tattoo. Ooh, boy! I right, check it. My my tattoo says "Never Knows Best." It's from an anime, and if you could guess it, y'all bonus points to y'all. Let's start this off, you know. So the morning of the morning of, you know, I was just thinking, man, like you know, I was like, I'm gonna get a tattoo. That's all. That's all the thought process went into it. You know, I thought it. I knew if I thought about it anymore, I was not gonna want to do it. So I was just like, I'm getting a tattoo. I hit up one of my homies. Uh, to, to give me the link of his guy I hit him up He was like Oh you know Like can you do this He was like Oh yeah for sure Just come through At like this particular time And I'm like Alright for sure You know So I, I like I was it, Even though I was not thinking about it I was still a little like You know kind of scared I didn't want to go alone So I hit up One of my homies Like oh what's up dog He's like oh what up Like oh come through with me Come through uh, To go get my tattoo He's like Fool you ain't getting no tattoo And I was like Fool I'm getting a tattoo Let's go I hit him like Alright fuck it Just come pick me up Come pick me up So I go pick him up and I, he was like, oh, dude, and this is the first thing he tells me. He says, like, oh, dude, my mom says he, she's going to check me when uh, when I get home because I told her you're getting a tattoo. And I was like, you told your mom uh, that I'm getting a tattoo? Like, his mom and my mom don't talk, but I'm still scared. Like, I was like, you know, my mom's going to find out. Anyway, it, just a side note, we're both 20 years old and we're so getting, we're so scared of getting our ass whooped by our mom. Ugh. Anyways, let's continue. So we get to the place, right? You know, my other homie just got out of work. He's like, where y'all at? I was like, getting a tattoo. You know, it's like down the street from your work. You know, shoot through. He's like, for sure. You know, so they both come in. We went to a tattoo place. You know, it was, it was a little like, it was like kind of hard to find. But, uh, you know, we walked in there. The first thing that we see, like these two, like, these two, like, dudes come out with like tatted all over. And we're like, oh, what's up? What you guys here for? And I was like, oh, it's, uh, to, get a, to, get, to get a tattoo. He's like, you got an appointment? I was like, yeah. They're like, all right, you could you could go in there, and I'm like, oh, 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 all right, thank you. I was scared. I was scared. Anyway, so we walk in there, and it smelled straight like weed. I was like, ooh, like I'm okay. Like I got in my haircut while somebody was high, like while the barber was high. I wasn't really hoping for my tattoo guy to be high while he was getting my tat- giving me a tattoo. So, but not not. So I met the guy. He was cool. He just like you know, chill out at the lobby for a second. And, uh, you know, let, let me go get this done and you'll be set. And I was like, all right, for sure, dude, thanks. You know, I was chilling there. I was waiting there for like 20 minutes. I wasn't stressing because, you know, like I, like, I don't know how tattoo things work. So I let him take his time, you know. So we get in there and he's like, oh, you know, he, he, he was really kind. He was really kind. And then, you know, he, he put that like little like stencil on me and he started tattooing and shit. You know, he got like three letters in and I get a phone call from my mother. My heart just dropped, y'all. My heart dropped. I was like, I was like, oh, dude, can, do you mind it? Like, do you mind if I like just step out for a second? I know, like, I'm sorry. He's like, go for it, dude. I didn't want to answer the phone in there because a lot of people were getting tattooed, so I didn't want my mom to hear that in the background. So you know, I stepped outside, and um, and I stepped outside. Like, the only thing I had tattooed on me was N E V. Like, it's basically like Neve. I didn't want the dude from Catfish's name on my tattoo, so I was like, fuck it. My mom catches me, like, I'm done. Like. Like I, like, I don't even care. Like, I'm just going to, like, finish this tattoo because I'm not going home with catfish tattoo. You know, so I answer the phone, like, oh, hello, mom. And she's like, where you at? And I was like, fuck. I was like, oh, you know, my friend. And she was like, oh. I was, oh. I was like, fuck. I was like, dude, like, this, this conversation was, like, 10 seconds long, but it felt like years. She was like, can you take your brother to school tomorrow? I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, yeah, yeah. She was like. Okay, you know, like, don't, don't, okay, like, thanks, like, uh, don't do anything stupid. This is what she tells me, like, every time I leave the house or, like, I hang up on her. She's like, don't do anything stupid. And I'm like, yeah, no, don't worry, like, never. I'm always doing something stupid, y'all. Yeah. Like, you know, like, that's why I got never knows best. I'm tatted on my skin, y'all. So, you know, we got in there. And she keeps freaking calling me through while I'm getting my tattoo. And I'm just like, oh, my God, my God. Like, she freaking knows. She freaking knows that I'm getting a tattoo. Like, I'm going to get my ass whooped. You know, and like, you know, so I got the tattoo, you know, I felt all cool. You know, this tattoo is so small, y'all. I'll put up a picture, I'll put up a picture right now. Ooh, check that out. It's so small, you could cover it with a, with a finger, you. But like, I felt like a badass. I felt like a chola walking down the street. Like, yeah, what's up, y'all? I'm tatted as fuck, what's up? But yeah, like, anyway, so, moral of the story, 
if you're gonna get a tattoo, make sure your friends don't tell their moms because then you're just gonna be self-conscious. Like, not self-conscious, oh, I don't even know vocabulary. You're just gonna be worried the whole freaking time. And what's up, y'all? You know, thanks for listening. Like, subscribe. Yeah, I'll see y'all on the track next time. Peace.